What's up, guys? I'm going to do a, a um, update on all my reptiles in my room. So, here we go. First one is Ishtar. He's a albino checkered gold snake. He's still young and tiny. He's pretty small. He's only a few inches right now. About half a foot. He's constricting that finger. Uh, the next one over here. Oki the Citrus Sunburst Bearded Dragon. Can I hold him? You can, you can see him right here. He's a pretty funny guy. Whoa. It sure doesn't like that. He's a pretty funny guy. It sure doesn't like that, sorry. <laughs> That's him. We'll put him back. He's on a diet of kale a few times a week and large mealworms a few times a week. His cage is pretty big. Water dish so did hides. The, did you put the water light? No. Powder. Timer. Timer. Food dish. Timer. Everything. And then his misting bottle. He loves getting misted. Alright. The next one I'll show you. He's a little on the crazy side. See? But I caught him a few years ago. About two years ago. Northern water snake. Of course, water snakes are crazy, so what do you expect? <laughs> That's him. Don't have any plans, just a pet. One of my first snakes. Not too pretty. I can't pick him up. That's him. Now I'll show you my two new snakes. These are both oh, California King oh. snakes, different types. Plan to breed them next year. They've already bred twice, but the person I bought them from. I'll show you them. Whoa, that's the first one. This guy is a chocolate. Hat la chocolate hat lavender albino King California King. King snake. So you can kind of tell he's he looks like a pure chocolate. And then he has a little yellow, like you can kind of see it. And then he has some yellow stripes. It's a few, like right there, right there, going down. His head is like black, if you can see it. Huh? Don't. But yeah, that's him. Chocolate lavender albino. So the I have only one pair of cow kings. So I'm planning to get. Like some really rare cow kings, which I'll talk about in a second. This is my first video ever, but I will be doing more on like care and breeding and stuff like that for the types that I have. So snakes, boas, and of course beer dragons, except not breeding of beer dragons. Put the books on, have holes. I use these right here, the clips, just to keep track of them. Uh, the next one is in this one. These are just, these are not permanent. These are just cages that I'm going to use for now because I didn't have any cages on me when I, when they got shipped here. So, this is a lavender albino. So I'm planning to breed this one, which is a female. It's produced eight babies last year, all born. Really pretty. You can see she has really good yellow bandings. Oh my! And that one's gonna be bred yeah. to the chocolate rose right here. And with those, I'll be able to get some DH chalk, um, lavender snows, and just some lavender albinos. So I'll take one of the DHs, breed it up it back to him and hopefully get the lavender snows which is what I'm trying to do for this project. So that's all. Let's close it back up. Got holes. Close it up. And over here I have my red tail climbing boa. Hypo salmon red tail climbing boa. 
this is a female. Um, I do have some plans for her in about two years to breed her. My plans are to breed her with a sharp snow, pure white red tail climbing boa, pure white with yellow, like right here. So it's a really cool boa. It'll be in about two years right now. Not old enough to breed yet. You can see how long it is. It's not too long. He eats real well. You give him mice. <laughs> really cool red. Really like a high hypo. That's her. Going on, I'm not going to take them out because they're in shedding right now. And a little mad right now. But I'll show you it. I mean, it's like you find those All right, so now we come over here. I got this. It's a female. Reverse Okatee Red Rat Chrome Snack, whatever you want to call. Um, she's shedding right now, so she's really gray, you can tell. But, you know. She's, it, she looks good, I want to take the top off. But she's actually a really bright one. She bred for me this year. She got, she gets 12 eggs, but only a few are good. Should be hatching soon. This is the male that bred her. It's a Golda Smartly. He's in shed too, so he's pretty dull looking. Not too dull though. He's just been hanging out there. He is. He probably has the best cage of all of them. And then the last one right here. I caught this guy about a week, but a week and a half ago, ten days. Watch this. My dad found it, and we caught him. He's in this cage right now. It's an octagon cage. It's the only cage I have left. Um, he's a little on the crazy side right now too, because he's a wild snake. His name, his name is but that's him. His We're thinking he's a checker gold snake. You can't really tell. Ah, uh, through the window. So well, that's him. He has really cool line down his back. You can see it. It's like. Yellow is gray is bluish. It's really cool. He's still small, so I'm hoping in about two or three years, take this female and breed it to this male that I showed you yet before. So that's all my reptiles for now. Um, I'll post more videos soon. Bye.